All right, my favorite part of math, showing you how things work. Uh, the proofs, okay. I've got this in case I need to look at it and just refresh, okay. All right, uh, maybe I won't use it. So now we're going to find out the sides of the triangles. We found the, the two different types of triangles. There's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and then the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Uh, that's all we're dealing with, okay? So uh, things we need to know, we need to know we're dealing with, we're dealing with right triangles because the, the angle drops down to the axis, creating a 90 degree angle. Um, oh, and uh, the hypotenuse is one, right? Because we're dealing with the unit circle, okay? It doesn't matter where it is, the hypotenuse will always be one for us to determine the ratios, okay? So, off to the races here. Because we know that it's a right triangle, we have two options to use, Pythagorean theorem and the Sokotoa. Now, again, simple grade nine, maybe even grade eight stuff, grade nine, whatever. Anyway, so nothing to be afraid of at all. Um, let's tackle this guy first. I'll, I'll use this here. Uh, I've got angles and I've got, I've got angles and I just want to find a side. I, I've got one side there. So how about this? Um, I'll, I'll choose this as my first one. Got half the answer on the word. Um, sine 45 should equal opposite of hypotenuse, right? So we have two of these three values, so we're able to do this. Uh, 0.7071 will equal, that's the sine of 45, will equal opposite, okay, if I pick this one, opposite is unknown over hypotenuse, which is 1, okay? Uh, smart, lazy math people, we don't ever need to write divided by 1. We'll find out that x equals this, okay? Now, on your calculator, you will probably get a number that has many more decimal positions. So what this means is that I rounded off, okay? Um, due to the fact that I rounded off in this answer, that makes it not precise, okay? When you're, um, if you're doing math with trigonometry and you need to measure the angular uh, rise of train tracks or something over two kilometers to save a company thousands of, hundreds of thousands of dollars of fuel, you don't want to round off. You want to be very precise. So this is correct, but not as good as it can be. So let's try this guy here. Well, um, we know that uh, both sides are the same, so I can just call them both x. So here's what I'll do here. Um, Pythagorean theorem, always start with your formula. We should have that stuff in our brains permanent. Um, a squared, well, okay, well, hang on. Th that's what we're talking about. I'll just call that A and B here. Uh, because they're the same size, we know that uh, B equals A. So I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, put uh, A in place of the B there, to because they, they equal the same thing. So what I get now is uh, a squared plus a squared equals c squared. Oopsie, c squared. So now doing so, uh, simple algebra, which is grade, uh, you know, 7, 8. 2a squared equals c squared. Um, I'm going to divide by 2. No, wait, hang on a sec. What am I doing here? Um, c, c is 1. I don't need to keep writing c. That's 1, OK? Well, 1 squared, I mean, that's that's easy. That ends up just being 1, OK? So I'll divide by 2, divide by 2. I get a squared equals 1 over 2. I need a by itself. So I'll take the square root of both sides. What you do to one side, you do to the other. This becomes a. This becomes root 1 over root 2. OK, now we've got to remember, this is fine. Um, well, the root 1 is just 1, so. This is what we have. We don't want to ever get in the habit of leaving our denominators in a radical form. That's a radical form. So what I'm going to do is take it out of there by multiplying it by itself. That will bring it to just be the number 2. But if I, I can't change the value of the fraction, so I have to do that to the numerator as well. Because this here equals 1, right? So, so I'm going to times the numerator by this 2. So 1 times root 2 is simply root 2. Okay. So a ends up being root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2. And we're done. Just that easy. All we did was use grade 9 stuff, grade 9 stuff, algebra, grade 9 stuff, and poof, now we're into grade 12 trick. So uh, these are your ratios for the 45, 45, 45, 
45-90 triangle. These are, are your ratios, root 2 over 2, uh, root 2 over 2 and a hypotenuse of 1, okay? So these are what you are going to eventually commit to your memory, preferably ASAP, okay? Next video, I'll do the 30-60-90 triangle and show you how we get our ratio, uh, our, uh, our side lengths for that.